Hey everyone, my name is Parker and <sighs> Oh battery. Um Um Chandler says that there's gonna be a or me and animation man one says there's gonna be a new Godzilla movie coming out in America. Um <coughs> it's gonna be a while, like two thousand seventeen. So yeah, it's new Godzilla news and today I'm going to be uh, showing my uh, new Godzilla review. Last time I did that, that was um, Godzilla, Gojira, yeah. So, uh, let's see how the last, well, the time, time before that, before this new movie came out, Godzilla 1998 movie, as you can see right there. Let's see how that turned out. Uh, well, it's about this, these people, or blah, 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 this giant monster attacks the Japanese tanker, I guess, and then it, well, it's, it's a freaking iguana, can swim, um, water-breathing iguana, um, terrorizes, uh, New York City, and, uh, and it does it so quickly, it's like, if it's just a cheapy movie, it's just, it's gonna do it, it's gonna show up very quickly. If it wasn't, it would show up late in the movie, and it would actually be good. Um, but this, it's, when Godzilla first came, he like rose up from the sea and started attacking New York for about five minutes and then done. That's just a generic monster movie right there because it happened so quickly, but this is not a generic monster movie. This is an abomination, and this is a piece of crap. <sighs> Let's get into the main reason why this movie sucks so bad. I know people say pe people say it sucks so bad because it's because of the re how they changed Godzilla into a freaking iguana, but. There's other flaws about this movie, and a lot of people know that, too. It's... Acting sucks. The plot, everything, in... Gojira, or Gojira, you probably can't see it, but I'll just show you right there. It's actually put some heart into it. This movie, they just got some dumb, act they just got some, these actors, and they don't do anything, they just talk, they're stupid, they say, you retarded piece of, like that, and Matthew Broderick's, um, freaking dumb girlfriend, is really dumb, want to be at want to be a um, reporter sucks at it too but this movie they okay there's a giant dinosaur walking I mean destroying Tokyo and it's and it's actually um really good check it out um and watch this movie first then watch Godzilla or Gojira these two movies are nothing alike they're supposed to be a remake nowhere close to a remake to a remake this is just a abomination right here this movie is a Japanese masterpiece I mean, this movie 
just has wait no. Okay, Godzilla Gojira is just it's just they never forget Godzilla's a problem. They they always blah blah blah. But you just have to check that that movie out. It's just way better than that. It's just has heart put into that movie. This movie, on the other hand, just has romance of um, Matthew Broderick and her dumb girlfriend. And it seems like they never forget their thing. I mean, they forget that there's a giant lizard walking around New York and destroying it. So that's pretty much. And they're pretty much going to be doomed because. The military sucks. They can't hit their shots. And, uh, yeah, they destroy more of New York than Godzilla does. Godzilla scratches his tail, I mean, scratches buildings with his tail and other stuff like that. But the military is dumb. They, they use all their... I mean, firepower on Godzilla. They can't hit him, so yeah, the yeah New York's gonna be um, destroyed in bubble. And Godzilla walks into the MetLife building with it still standing with a giant hole. If that was real life, that building would be destroyed on the ground. It would be on the ground. There would not be a stupid hole in the freaking that like building for goodness sake. Um, um, and okay, this movie, yes, um, there's some like romance, like this girl and blah 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 want. This other guy want to get married, but and but she wants to marry someone else. But they never forget that Godzilla's a problem. This movie, they just forget about it, like it nothing, like it never happened. Just Godzilla walks around for, for five minutes, and they're all panicking. And then after that, they don't just like they forget about it. I mean. This movie, I mean, I heard it, I haven't watched the rest of this movie, but I heard at the end that, um, when Godzilla gets caught in the Brooklyn Bridge, um, uh, and he, like, dies, and they say, what if we're the true monsters for killing this monster? That's stupid. And everyone's cheering, it's like, yay, we're all cheering. Yeah. So, uh, when I first watched this movie, I mean, when I got it, I thought it was actually going to be not, I thought it was going to be decent. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be horrible. I mean, I know the design, uh, I know everyone says it sucks because Godzilla's design, but I thought the plot and everything else was going to be good, just not Godzilla. But... Man, was I wrong. It sucked. The people just talk so stupid. It, it, they're annoying in every single freaking way. Um, so, I'd say... For a Godzilla fan like me, this movie can uh, burn in heck, but as not a Godzilla fan, it can still burn in heck. Or it can be thrown on a trash can, destroyed, I don't know, just, just something for it just to be destroyed, I hate it. Um, check out more reviews on this, go to Alex G. One eight two four, I guess it'll probably show up, or 
watch or type in the real Mr. Robinson, you'll find the, his review on this. So, um, so, um, uh, that's my review on Zilla 1998. It sucks so bad. Don't check it out. Check it out if you dare. And okay, you'll find out that sucks so bad. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later, PGs. Bye.